The conventional view says the interest rate is a reward for saving, for deferring consumption today for a return tomorrow. It supposedly balances the supply of savings with the demand for investment funds in a neat market equilibrium. John Maynard Keynes argued this is fundamentally wrong. Saving depends on income, not the interest rate. Instead, the interest rate is determined in the money market. It is the price of money itself. Why do we want money? Not just to buy things, but for security. In an uncertain world, money is the most liquid asset. It gives us the ability to wait, to defer decisions, and to protect ourselves against unforeseen events. Keynes called this desire liquidity preference. The stronger our anxiety about the future, the more we prefer to hold cash. The interest rate, therefore, is the reward we demand for parting with that liquidity, for giving up the safety of cash. It's the price that must be paid to overcome our preference for holding money rather than other assets like bonds. The interest rate isn't a measure of the productivity of capital, it's a measure of the intensity of our collective anxiety.